Hey guys, Rival Boss here, and today I am back. And as promised, I am bringing you guys a special image that I kind of stumbled across on um, the uh, Arcade Punks website. Um, so it's been a while since we've done a Arcade One image, uh, but I thought this one was kind of special because it is actually made for the Arcade One Up. So we are filming it again directly on the Arc Arcade One Up cabinet. So if you, there's a little distortion and stuff on the screen, that's just for Matt. Um, real quickly, before we start the video, I'd like to thank you guys so much for liking and subscribing. We've picked up some subscribers. We're getting closer to that 2,000 uh, subscriber mark. So if you guys can and wouldn't mind just subscribing, it would really help out. Uh, thank you guys so much for everything you guys do. Uh, I love reading comments and uh, and stuff in the comments below, so please leave some comments. Leave a like if you like the video and, and subscribe. Okay, so now on to the video. So I, I kind of stum stumbled across this image, and I'm, we're just going to kind of talk about it. I really think this is a great image. Uh, I would put it probably just under my own. Um, I think it is better than the Wolf Rones one. Uh, Wolf Rones one. Um, but there are a few problems with it. Uh, which I think really hold it back from being like the best. Uh, but I have, I, I am going to look at this image, by the way, and kind of, you know, make my next image kind of like uh, take things I like from this one and, and kind of make even a better image. Uh, I still feel my image, uh, my uh, 1000 subs um, image is still a better image just because it's more full, but it is a 128. This is only a 64 gig image. Oh, which is great if you have a smaller card. Um, so anyway, we're just going to get into it. Um, so right away, when you first boot it up, you won't be treated to this. Okay, you'll be treated to something like this. And it looks real nice, very clean. You got your arcade one up. You can scroll left and right after setting up your controls. Um, left and right to get to the different things. And we're going to just kind of go over it. Now the cool thing is you can go back. And it is. I really like this this idea where... It looks like the original arcade uh, arcade one up cabs where you could just scroll up and down like between the three games. I think that's a really nice touch that he'd put in here. Um, and you can go into these and then you can see the games. Um, and he's got a great selection of games. Uh, there are a couple of things that are kind of questionable. Um, like you got your Neo Geo. We'll go over it first. We got MAME 61. We've got Neo Geo 165. Uh, Pixel, I don't know. Uh, you only have two PlayStation games, so not very many PlayStation games. Those are Need for Speed 3 and uh, NFL Blitz. And now I'm going to go over something real quickly that I did notice with this image. As I bring up this Need for Speed, look at this video down in here. I don't know what's going on, but I see this a lot. And I think it's the codec he was using is not correct. Or maybe I need to reburn my image, but I, I... Oh, first off, out of the way, when you burn this image to your, your card and you boot it up for the first time, it will take a long time to actually start up. Like a solid couple, I would leave it like for five minutes. Um, it took a long time to boot up. It is not dead, it is doing something. I burned this car, this to the image, uh, to the card three times because I thought it was, you know, just not working, didn't go. But no, it just takes a long time to go through. Uh, but yeah, I'm noticing though, that there is something on some of these videos that he used. Uh, what was another one that I, that I saw? Um, I think it was this. Yeah, like the videos just get really distorted for some reason. I don't know quite what why that is. I think it's the codec he used. But it's a very minor gripe, and uh, a lot of games work perfectly, like Golf Tee here. And um, I'm going to show you really kind of what I really loved about the image. First off... He made a category, and I'm going to take this idea, uh, of just Arcade 1-Up titles. All the released Arcade 1-Up titles are in here. So you got your Capcom, you know, all the all the cabinets that, all the games that came out in the different cabinets are here. All the Golden Tees, which I don't really know how you'd play with it without the ball. But, uh, you know, all the ones. So it's real neat. You know, got your Mortal Kombat's 1, 2, and 3 right here, by the way, which is really sweet. 3 is kind of hard to come by. We'll have to see how that runs. Uh, Strider. So there, that's a really neat touch that he made. There is a separate category just for Arcade 1-Up titles. What? How cool. Um, all games. How many games do you got? 
You have 2,580 games on this image. That's pretty pretty good. Kind of a low number for 60, you know, 5 gig or 60 whatever, 4 gig. But, um, you know, but these are quality titles. And this is a quality build just by the, the look of the image. Um, you also have a bunch of arcade games. Uh, there are, you know, a lot of noticeables. I really liked what he did with the box art, though. There's a lot of, like you know, just cool images like of ads and stuff like that, not just strictly box art for all this stuff. Um, he's got a ton of Daphne games. I haven't tested them all. Uh, some of them do not have images and stuff. We're going to try Badlands in a minute and just actually see if it works. I couldn't find a working Badlands, so if he managed to find that, that's pretty awesome. But look how many freaking he has. How many of these are there? There are 18 Daphne games. That is the most Daphne games I have seen. So this guy must have really a collection. The jukebox is kind of neat. Uh, you can listen to some 8-bit and 16-bit music that he's selected. Uh, Cody, of course. Mame, you got 61. So it's just a very nice select. And as you can see, like in the box art here, it's kind of neat. It's like ads for the games, ads for the cabinets. Like there's an ad for the cabinet. And see, this video works perfectly fine. It's only some of them that it doesn't work well with. Like that. There's Mobile Gundam and it just turns into a green mod of nothingness. So I'm pretty sure it's the Kodak he's using. Uh, Neo Geo, we already talked about. Um, we're going to see, though, the beat-em-up. Now, the other thing I, I really like is he has a bunch of beat-em-ups in here. And these are really good ones. You know, you got your hook, some weird ones in there, Knights of Valor. Um... It's really nice. And now the other nice thing about this image is I literally flashed it to the card and then input my controls and it's up and running. And I tell you what, that is refreshing compared to some of the other ones. It didn't have to mess with aspect ratios. I'll, I'll boot up a game real quick here. We'll boot up uh, Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, the arcade game. Um, and here's the loading screen for those. It's pretty neat. Um, but yeah, it just works right out of the box. So much like my image does, this image does too. You don't have to do any settings or anything like that. So nice and refreshing to have an image like that. Uh, and now watch this ROM. Okay, it is working. It's doing the ROM check. Took a little bit. Uh, but yeah, so, you know, it's a real nice image. Uh, I feel like uh, people that don't really know a lot about the arcade one up and setting these things up, this and my own image and uh, Wolf Drones um, image are really good uh, images for people that are kind of getting into this hobby. And as you can see, it works perfectly fine. And the ratio is pretty good. Actually, the ratio is a little off. Now that I say that, yeah, it is. But, uh, you know, anyway, it's still pretty good. Uh, if you want to know how to set this to be full screen without the black borders, you can watch a couple of my other videos. I have videos on how to do that. Uh, and then we can go out here. And um, now here's my, my... Now, he made a couple categories that I'm kind of questionable. He made a sports category, and I mean... There are, you know, some okay sport games in here, but I don't know. You know, you got your NBA jams. Those are fine. Soccer finals, though, I don't know. Some of these are kind of questionable to be on here. Uh, but, yeah, he's got a sports. He must be a big X-Men fan because he's got, you know, some X-Men games on here. X-Men arcade games, of course. Spidey, which is kind of rare to see. You know, you got your children, the Adam, all that that kind of stuff. So you got a whole category for X Xbox, and then you got your collections, and it says forty, um, you know, but it's actually the forty uh, arcade one up collections. I don't know why I just didn't call it arcade one up collection. Um, you know, uh, favorites. What does he have in his favorites? He got Alien vs Predator, great game. Aliens Three, the gun game. Cadillac and Dinosaur, Centipede, Contra. Oh, see, and there's uh, what I was talking about. There's box art for the original arcade cab. So it's kind of cool. Like, there, there's ads. I really like that aspect. It's different. It's refreshing. Uh, last played. This is probably just going to be me going through stuff. And a little bit of him, too, it looks like. Um, and then you got, you know. So there isn't a ton of games on here compared to, say, my image or some of the, even the Wolf Wolf Rones has more, but this is a nice quality image with lots of cool games on it.
Okay, and also real quick, this thing also has a really good options. You've got uh, audio controls, controller setups, emulation tools, RetroPie tools, visual setups, fix my build, which I believe fixes some of these problems. It will patch itself, I believe. Uh, so maybe those videos, maybe those controller issues that we're having will be fixed. Um, the Raspberry Config, your Raspberry Pi setup. Uh, you also have an attract mode, which I'm going to show you in a minute. But real quick, we're going to go to uh, fix my build. So yeah, really neat. Inside of here, you have ways to fix if you mess something up, which is what I, I go back to it, as far as it being very user-friendly as far as newbies go and stuff like that. This will go back and restore certain things that you corrupt or mess up when you're fiddling around with things. I also really quickly wanted to show you some of the visual stuff that you have. You have your custom bezels if you're not playing an arcade one up. You've got your bezel projects that you've got. Um, you got the boot up theme randomizer, so you can kind of like, you know, it will turn on which video is going to be playing. Uh, themes. Uh, you, let's see, ES themes. What do we have in here? Do, 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 do. So, yeah, you just have your normal themes that you can install. Um, launching screens. Uh, you have your overscan. This is super nice. I'm going to put this in mind too. A simple way to get rid of the overscans uh, on different video games and stuff like that. Uh, Raspberry Pi video output. That is also very helpful. Uh, Retroarch shaders off and on. So this is like your different types of like, I will look at like a CRT. And I must also say that this has great music uh, going on in the background. Uh, I am having a talk over it because many of it is, uh, much of it is copyrighted. Uh, but yeah, so that's your options. It's really nice and helpful. Um, you know, really great. Um, and just so you have an idea of just how many games are actually in here, we're going to go up to uh, your all games title, right? And I'm just going to scroll down just so you can have an idea. Because people don't really get sometimes how many games that is. 2,500. Ah, oh, that's nothing. But, I mean, look at this. That is a lot of freaking games that you, you have to play. Um, another one I just saw as we were scrolling by is G.I. Joe. I want to see if his G.I. Joe works. Mine works. Where is it? Uh, G.G.I. G. Joe. G.I. Joe. Should be G. There we go. Oh, they got G lock. Oh, nice. G Darius. All right, here's their G.I. Joe. Let's see. Oh, did you see that awesome box art, by the way, for this? So we're just seeing if this boots up real quick. Yay, G.I. Joe. Give me some tokens. Gonna take Snake Eyes and kick butt. I, this Snake Eyes, by the way, was a terrible Snake Eyes compared to the rest of the Snake Eyes. I'm sorry. Snake Eyes is supposed to be. All black outfit, not this blue red stuff that we see here. Oh yeah, yep, his GI Joe works perfectly fine. Mine does too on my image. Awesome, GI Joe is the best. Um, what was I gonna? Uh, so let's let's boot up first up. And the other weird thing, he has a ton of light games. He's got sixty one light games. And let's just go to see if all these light game. Got, sometimes these things are kind of hard to set up with. Hi. Oh, he's got some copyrighted music going on back in the thing there. That's great. <laughs> um, let's see what else we've got. So we've got Operation Wolf. We'll try Operation Wolf 3. Let's see if this boots up and actually plays, shall we? But yeah, so guys, you know, this is a good image for uh, starting off. Uh, I really enjoyed this image. Uh, like I said, I wanted to bring you guys something special and different. Uh, and I feel like this image is that. So yeah, the aspect ratios are correct on this one. Uh, you actually can fill it out to be all the way to the corners if you want to. Let's put a couple quarters in there. Maybe not. See, and this is kind of what I'm talking about. Like, I don't know if I this is a non-skippable cutscene or not. Insert coins. My coin button is no longer working. So this must be set up for something different. Oh, and I can't even get out. So we're going to have to hard cut and do it again. So this must be set up for like a light gun that you can get for your arcade one up. Uh, but yeah, yeah, the controls are not responding for that. And I really liked there was a lot of different intros. I just thought I'd show you some of the different intros. 
I will say that there was one of these intros that was a basically ad for a couple different channels and stuff like that. And it was weird. Oh, that's some copyrighted music. But uh, yeah, so anyway, there's a lot of games. We're going to keep talking through this. Man, is this one loud. We're going to stop it here. I just uh, wanted to say real quick that there is a ton of really cool intro videos for this that have to do with arcades and stuff like that. And this is just really a neat touch. Okay, so after a quick reboot from that not working, um, the uh, the only other thing I will say is the intro videos for this this arcade uh, image are great and also a little bit preachy, a little bit and a little bit long. Um, they're greatly edited and put together. Uh, there's one that shows like a bunch of different uh, movies that have arcades in them, and they, he puts it together to great music. It's got like the uh, uh, Transformers 2. And then there's another one where he like is it's an ad for different YouTube channels and stuff like that that deal with arcade one up, which I was kind of sad that I was not on that list, can I say? But it was fine. Retro Ralph's on there, which is pretty sweet. Um, but the only problem with them is they're really long videos and they're not skippable. So if you want to get right into the game, you sometimes have to sit for two to three minutes as these videos go on and you can't skip them. <laughs> you can, I believe, toggle them off in settings, but who knows? Um, so yeah, we're going to try a couple more games here. Let's go back into, let's go to those... Daphne games. Actually, let's see what's in racing. So you got your Hot Pursuit, you got your Outrun, Pole Position, Road Blaster. What a great game. Spy Hunter, Spy Hunter 2. That's pretty sweet. Alright, so here we are, and as you can see, the game's working perfectly fine. Berserker Claw! Berserker Claw! So I wanted to see if the Mortal Kombat 3 was working. And um, I'm going to let you just see. So I started, tried to start it up. And it's very hard to find a working uh, Mortal Kombat 3. And sadly, this one does not have a Mortal Kombat 3 that works as well. It just kicks you back to the main screen. Now, that being said, it does have Darth Gaiden, which is pretty cool. This is uh, actually pretty hard to find uh, a working Darth Gaiden uh, non, you know, like you try to play, beat this game on uh, this. Whoa, the Sega. Where's my button? Uh, the Sega uh, Saturn. And man, that thing was so hard. But now you have like infinite continues with this. So that's pretty sweet. I also really quickly wanted to show you the, um, the menu for this. So if you press your, you know, select and your jab button or whatever that, you know, button is, this is what the menu looks like. Uh, it's, you know, MAME 2003. Uh, so you can go in here and change stuff. Pretty awesome. Um, I, I'm personally like the other one, but still pretty cool. So I felt it was only uh, fitting to try to try the Badlands Daphne game, and it gives, gives you an error. Uh, so yeah, that's a little bit of a bummer. So anyway, guys, thank you so much for checking this video out with me. Uh, it, was, it means a lot uh, for you guys to just take the time to watch these videos and stuff. I've got more stuff coming down the pipes. I'm going to have some more time to do, do some stuff just now. So uh, I'm going to be doing a Steel Battalion unboxing. I finally got the full thing of that, so I get to play that game. Uh, I got lots of other stuff coming down the line. We probably will play a stream of Death Stranding and stuff like that. So please look forward. And if you do like this content, please like and subscribe. It means so much to me. And until next time, this is the Rival Boss signing off. Stay cool, guys.